got going on out here. It's raining. It's about 30 degrees, 35. And for the few days, it's going to go down to about 31, 32 degrees. And here's what's going on. Everything is blossoming up uh, slowly, but that's what it's doing. I didn't know I had these blossoms on these uh, peach trees. And these seem to be the only ones that's blossoming on the right of my property. Over here, you see a whole bunch of blossoms on that uh, peach tree. That's the Alberta. And they're different color and everything. So, all my plants are coming up in this container here, which is a cold sowing. Um, that's all, I think it's collard green or kale. Kale, probably most likely collard green. This one over here is spinach, put in on the second month, and it's doing real good. But it's raining out here, so I'm not going to stay long. I just want to give all of you an update on what's going on. Uh, it's got become somewhat concerned because of its depth diving back down into the 30s. Um... See the leaves on the trees? Pay no attention to that boat in the background. And uh, another few days is going to be 50s and slowly. So slowly come up out of this, these temperatures, low temperatures. Uh, so that's what we got here. And then we got all these containers over here, beautiful green. In fact, a lot of this has to come out of here pretty soon. You see the lettuce over here? Uh, it's all the way up at the top. I gotta get that out of there. And then we got all the other stuff. The spinach is gonna be bulging soon. Look at that right there. That's green in there. That is, what is this right here? That's the um, thyme. And uh, we got something in here going. That's the asparagus. Well, that's, that's looking real good. And then we got all this stuff in here growing. That is, look at that, that's beautiful. And that's uh, collard greens. And I try to tell people today, I was talking to some good people today uh, when I was getting my taxes prepared. And uh, what they were doing, is, I was telling them that I put stuff in here in the dead of winter when we had the three feet of snow. And some of these containers, you can look at the dates on them. They've been there that long. And you can see the growth inside. So I'll have a jump on people who normally put them in when they follow the... Uh, the instruction that say plant on this date, onions plant on that date, spinach, you know. So I'll have a jump on it. And you can see this over here. That's just full of um, a product right there. And soon that's going to have to be come out of there. That's, that's, uh, that's uh, what you call it, uh, lettuce. All right, this is the morning gardener. I'm going to give you a couple more seconds of this update. You might not be hearing from me for a while because uh, I'm on some new projects. You can see all this here. Look at all these buds. I mean, look at them. I mean, God. That's because these trees are fed up. They're fed with all that. Look at all that compost at the, the base of it. Look at that. And then I found out that my neighbor did a good thing for me. He cut back some of these trees. And we're going to use that as compost. See it over there? See all that right there? If I get up on it, that's, a, that's logs and all kind of wood. So I'm going to cut all that up and put it around the base of these trees uh, when I need them and I'm also put it around other areas because I'm going to get a chainsaw out there cut all that down cut it off nice and pretty and everything and then I'm going to use it everything is used in the yard you don't keep going out to the box to buying all this expensive fertilizer because you can see some of the wood here at the base of that tree being used then we got some over here and that's going to be the end of this tour right here I'll show you this see and it's going to collect it down there they got these new trees over there. They get ready to bulge out. See all the wood around them. Uh, they'll break down eventually, but I'll cut it and just lay it there, and it'll, it'll break down. This is the morning garden, good people. Take care and have a good weekend.